it's a big decision. It's a big purchase. And you don't want to make the wrong choice. And you want to look the way you picture in your head how you want to look. And so yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's tough. It's tougher than I think some people think it is. But don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's plenty of lucky people that get the, the right dress in like a week. <laughs> so. It's, it's, this is the first time I've been with my fiancé, which I think probably isn't so kosher because you want it to be a surprise. Um, but all in all, the experience is awesome. And I think that's one thing that stands out between the different bridal stores. Those that um, are really beautiful and the staff are really nice make it a nicer experience to try things on and go through the couture process or go through the process rather than some other shop. So the experience definitely has an impact on, on which dress you end up buying, I think. The four things that really work in a relationship are curiosity, compassion, courage, and contribution. Curiosity, the ongoing wonder, who are you? Whether it's been three minutes or 30 years. Courage, the ability to really reveal something, even when it might be difficult because that's what's truly intimate. Compassion, seeing ourselves in another person and feeling with them and contribution. What do I have to give versus what do I want to get? About the Indian culture. In a long-term relationship, I would say that the most common problems are sex, money, communication, and cleanliness. Probably the most common of those are sex and money. With sex, it's often hormonal, could be past trauma, or growing preferences that grow apart. I would say with sexuality, get your hormones checked. Even 25, 35, get your hormones checked, see a doctor. See a therapist if there's past traumas that are coming into your present relationship. And if your preferences seem to be going in dis different directions or not connecting, bring back that curiosity and that find that sweet spot of something new. Well, you know what I always like to say is that there are a lot of reasons that people get married and there's a lot of reasons that people get divorced, right? Um, not every couple is going to have the same reasons. So reasons that marriages don't work out, um, there's um, a lack of communication, there's um, a different approach and understanding and dealing with money issues. So money issues are probably, they're, they're pretty significant and especially in this economy. Um, it's definitely having an effect. When I first met Akiva in person, um, I wasn't nervous, but it was like this, maybe even a feeling of like coming home or just feeling totally comfortable and like, you know, I could totally be myself and it, it just felt free and easy and, um, and butterflies and sort of just like super stimulating and this electricity and yet very like calm and peaceful. Yeah. 